Water is a very finite resource on our planet. Our freshwater supplies are very precious, and with the impacts of global climate change, extreme weather events, and drought, those resources are becoming even more scarce. Well, we believe that water scarcity is one of the top issues facing the world today. And we believe that water reuse is one of the keys to making sure that water endures for generations to come. It's very critical that we use the ability to treat wastewater effluent with advanced purification. This seems like the logical solution. A critical element about water reuse, though, will require that we see innovation around technology innovation around partnerships, and frankly, acceptance by the public. And it's something we are really honored to be able to work on. Well, CH2M was founded nearly 70 years ago, and our four founders were really pioneers in dedicating their, their cells and their company to building a better world. Uh, the roots of CH2M are in the water industry, and really they, their legacy helped shape the direction of water treatment, of wastewater treatment, and of course of water reuse technologies. Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe, is a beautiful oligotrophic high mountain lake on the border of Nevada and California. In the 1960s, with increasing development, there were wastewater treatment plants that were treating their sewage, and that sewage treated, albeit, but to a lower level, was finding its way into the lake, and these nutrients were causing aquatic growth and causing eutrophication of this beautiful, pristine water source. So that spawned the need for advanced wastewater treatment in the Lake Tahoe watershed. And uh, we had some really bright, innovative people that said, you know, we can tackle this challenge. And so we came in and deployed some advanced wastewater treatment techniques in a way that had never been done in wastewater treatment before. This is the South Tahoe Wastewater Reclamation Plant today. Model for wastewater reclamation and reuse for this country and the world. Even Ronald Reagan at the time was the governor of California, and he came out to Tahoe and saw what was being done to protect this pristine water supply and water source, and had some remarkable words to say about the engineering and innovation that CH2M led on this project. The Tahoe solution could and I am sure will be applied to many pollution problems. The technology now being employed at Lake Tahoe could well become an important new weapon in the fight to clean up America's waters. I guess the importance of this facility starts with the uh, Occoquan Reservoir because it's a primary drinking water supply for 1.7 million Northern Virginians. So the population in the uh, Occoquan watershed started to, to boom in the 1960s. And with that, scientists noticed some pretty bad and rapid deterioration of the water quality in the Occoquan Reservoir. With the determination that an advanced wastewater treatment plant would be constructed, and CH2M was chosen basically because of some groundbreaking uh, advanced waste treatment design work that they had done at South Lake Tahoe facility. They began immediately to design the initial original 15 MGD facility here at UOSA, and they worked side by side with, with the UOSA personnel in the design, in the construction. They trained the operators and they also were there during the uh, original uh, startup and commissioning of the facility. Over the last three decades, three different uh, expansion projects to, to meet the demands of the growing population. As UOSA grew, the scientists and engineers and regulators started realizing that the best quality of water entering the reservoir was coming from UOSA. So in the early days, there had been some trepidation about UOSA expanding, should it be allowed to expand, but all that trepidation went away when these scientists said the best water going in the reservoir is coming from UOSA. CH2M seems to share our, our passion for sustainable water reuse and for, in our case, protection of, of the area's drinking water supply. So, I think that's why the partnership has been so successful over 40 plus years. The water reuse industry and the water industry in general has been experiencing an, an awakening in the needs to look at the issues of technology and public acceptance together. 
CH2M has been on this journey for, for quite a long time with some absolutely amazing clients. Denver's direct potable reuse demonstration project, the most critical part of the project was to prove that the water would be safe. Without that, nobody would accept it. The primary goal here at Denver's Potable Reuse Demonstration Plant is to take treated wastewater and through an intricate and highly complex purification process, produce fresh potable water of equal or better quality than that currently available from Denver's state-of-the-art conventional water treatment plants. CH2M provided the design and construction services for the reuse project. That work lasted about three years, but the studies were conducted for another eight years. Members of the design team and scientists at CH2M volunteered their services for that entire time, provided without compensation their expertise. And believe me, we called on them. In test after test, wastewater processed at this plant has proven to be as pure or purer than Denver's own treated water. And that's what the legacy of the project is, is that all of the tests, all of the findings are now being used because the project was successful. They can rely on those results in order to move forward with potable reuse projects in their local community. We went to U.S., what we saw that we like it. So the question asked is that can we be done in Singapore? So we came back and that's how we planned and we did a new water study. We saw in U.S. it had been pilot tested and everything. Then he said, why do we want to reinvent the wheel? Why don't we go straight to demonstration? Singapore uh, PUB, the new water project. This project was transformational in that it looked at the need to be transparent with the public about water's use and reuse. This emphasis on not only technology, but on public understanding and public engagement really is going to be a foundational change. You know, it raised the bar on creating an interactive environment for people to come in and see how wastewater is repurified to drinking water. I think it's a very good partnership that we have with CHN on this particular new water study. Receiving the 2015 Stockholm Industry Water Award is an amazing, amazing honor. Uh, you know, this is an award not for a single project. This is an award for a 50-year CH2M with our clients' contribution to the advancement of potable reuse. And I can't thank our clients enough for the opportunity and the trust they put in us to help deliver their most complex problems. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm most excited about the fact that this recognizes the, the hard work of many CH2M employees, past and present, that have worked on landmark uh, water reuse projects around the world. You know, it's such an important value for us, and we're so thankful to get this recognition, but the big recognition really needs to be around the spotlight on sustainable water reuse. And so I can commit to you that what this award does for CH2M is it actually redoubles our commitment to work even harder with communities around the world and clients around the world to make sure that there is sustainable water for generations to come.